Hi. I'm back. Come on in. Come on. I've got some Timu for you today. Yeah, it took them long enough to get an order to me, right? Well, I still have three orders I'm waiting on. And the funny thing is, the order I have here, this is a sponsored order. But it was the third sponsored order I placed and not the first one. So, go figure. Anyway, welcome back. And as you can tell, I'm doing a bit better. Uh, not quite so stressed. The Sadie Bugs crashed out over here. She does not have the shawl of shame on anymore. It's uh, sitting back up here on the top of the couch. She's really good. Her stitches come out day after tomorrow. She's happy. I'm happy. It's all good. Anyway, if you're new here, hi. My name is Connie, and you have just entered Connie's little corner. And today it is Connie's piece of the floor. Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm down on the floor in the living room. It's comfortable. And I happen to like the lighting out here a little bit better. I got a little less glare in my glasses. I still get some, but not too bad, mostly on this side, which I don't know why, because my windows are on this. Side. <laughs> anyway. Before we get started, if you are new here, up here on top, AFC95851, that is my code. You enter that code in the search bar at Timu, it will get you a $100 coupon bundle for future use and 30% off your first order. And to get to Timu down below, you will find my personal link. If you're watching this on TV, right here, pause the video, scan that QR code, and it'll do the same thing I just explained. <laughs> it does it a lot easier. I don't know why everybody just doesn't use the QR code to make it easy on you guys, right? So, anyway, let's start with this order. This is called Home Essentials. And thank you, Timu, for sponsoring this order. There's a whole bunch of different stuff in here. But it's basically all around the house. You guys have been asking for more Home Essentials. So, that's what you're getting. All right. The first item... Came in a box. I'm most happy when I get boxes from Timu, right? This actually surprised me. I had ordered a curtain rod that extended to at least 48 inches. You can see what I have in my hand. Hold on a second. I have to take these pieces off. I'll show you what surprised me in just a sec. If I can get them off. It's early. I've been running around all morning and I just now had my first cup of coffee. Okay, so this is an extension, and you twist it out, but here's the thing. It has another piece. You take the cap off the end, you screw in the extra piece. I don't know if I'm going to do it sitting on the floor, but you screw in, there we go, the extra piece, and you get a longer rod. So this has a good tension rod on it. You can adjust it from this end with the spring from this end. I couldn't be happier. What really got me on this, hold on a second. Let me put the cat back on so I don't lose it. Is that it came with the mounting hooks. I didn't know. I had bought a bunch of these um, for the curtains I was putting out on the lanai. And these are really, really strong. And I know you're not going to be able to hear them snap, but maybe you can see how good. They've got a really strong spring in the back. You see that spring? And they literally fit beautifully around these rods. And that's what I was trying to get off when I was saying, wait a minute, I got to get. I had no idea it was going to come with the clips. This is a bonus. These are clips that go on with the two sided tape. And I have to say, this particular two-sided tape does work good. The rods I put up there six months ago, seven months ago, they're still as strong as ever. So I found the key to making these work is really clean off the surface well. Make sure you wipe it down with an alcohol wipe. Let it dry thoroughly. Attach these, but don't attach the weight of the rod until the next day. Let these sit and let the glue actually adhere. So, yeah, this one will extend to 48 inches. Um, they gave me the extra pole to do that. So, that's, yeah, adjustable, right? Okay. I think it'll work fine. 
Now, because this is a sponsored order, those of you that are new may not know, you won't see prices up here. Down below, you will see all the links to the items and the prices. It'll all be listed together for you, all right? So, less editing for me, but still, all the information you need. If you want closed caption, go right down here. I believe it's right here in the middle somewhere, that little CC in a box. Just click that CC for closed caption. All right, this is a set of five, and these are scrubbing pads. I'm going to show you one of these. I have gotten several sets of these now, but as you can imagine, I keep some outside um, in the garage for my big tub that's out there. I keep some in the kitchen, and I keep a couple in the bathroom for cleaning the bathroom. It's got a really soft-sided sponge on this side. You can see it's got layers, so it's got some squish to it. So it's double layer sponges, and then you've got your scrubby pad. And can you see the texture on the scrubby pad? It's pretty good. This works great. Um, actually, on everything. The only thing I found that if you have like the bottom of your pans, they get that weird stained rust orangey kind of fried so solidified grease on the bottom this won't take that off but the other pads i got the previous all those little thin brown ones they do but these work great for everything they're soft enough not to damage my um cooktop my oven cooktop but they're also great for scrubbing so and they last a long time i probably only change sponges maybe once a month once every six weeks who's the deal right <laughs> All right, let's see what else we've got in here. He also sent me something as a surprise. I'm going to show it to you. I want your honest opinion on it, but let's do this first. All right. And I forgot to bring one with me. Do I have one? I might. I'll have to take it. I'll take a battery out of my mouse. This is a little battery tester. Do you remember when you could get the Duracell batteries and you would hold your fingers on either end and it would light up? and tell you how much battery strength you had left. I can't find batteries that do that anymore. And because I use rechargeables most of the time, I can't tell. But for ones that are not rechargeable, this is a little voltage meter. And all you do is slide this up against your battery. It's got a little metal tab on the end here. Can you see this little metal piece that it goes up against? And then it's got the little metal piece on the back in here that squeeze, and then it reads it on the meter. So I'm going to I'll pull out my dongle so that I don't mess up my computer. There we go. Inactivate or deactivate my mouse. Got a little car mouse. Turn it into a convertible to get to the batteries. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get one of these batteries out. And these are, well, these are energizers. This is a triple A. So if I put the triple A in here, between the metals and squeeze, which is not the most comfortable thing to do. Hold on. Hold the phone. There's a little node back here on this piece that's supposed to go in that little dip in the bottom of the batteries. Did you ever notice there's a little tiny dip in the bottom of your batteries? I don't know if you can see that little center dip. So that's supposed to tuck in there, and then the other end tucks, but we'll see. Hold on. Hold on. It's like a balancing act trying to do this. Okay, so it's showing that it needs to be replaced. It's reading it. I'm okay with that. When it needs to be replaced, I don't know, but it's in the red, so this one's not doing too good. Let me check the other battery. And these are not the, that one's not a rechargeable. Let's see if this one is. This one is a rechargeable. Maybe that's why that one needs to be <laughs> So let's check. Now, the rechargeables don't have the dip on the bottom, but you can still put them on here. You just have to kind of hold them in place to get them centered on it first. And you can see this one is reading higher. This one's still in the green for the most part, and it's just getting into the replace. So this one I know I'm going to have to recharge with it. So it works. Not hard to use either. All right. I'm good with that. 
Hold on. I got to put my mouse back together now. Um, while I'm putting my mouse together, I wanted to let you know that um, I was talking to you before about doing my Timu kitchen. Well, when mom was over last weekend, and I'm going to put some pictures up for you, she decided that she wanted to make cookies from that little pack that I gotten of making the instant cookies. <clears throat> okay, so she made the cookies 100% herself. So here's a couple of pictures of her putting the mix in the bowl, mixing it up, and then just looking at the tray of cookies that she just made in disbelief. But they came out delicious. And that little bag made a dozen. Um, then she decided she wanted to make brownies. Yeah. Um, we cooked all day long. And she loved it. But later on, I will put... Hold on. I'm trying to find where to put my dongle back in for my mouse. I can't find the spot. There we go. Okay, my mouse is back. Um, so, yeah. She had a blast making everything. She cooked. She felt good. She did good, right? All right. This next item is a mortar and pestle. Look at the size of this. Hold up. I hold this up against my hand. This is a good size. See that one of them little itty bitty tiny ones. It is hard acrylic. It's really, really hard. And it comes with a very huge, huge, okay, two pieces for grinding. They have this in a lot of colors. But I went with the basic white simply because of the colors in my kitchen. But they do have a beautiful one that looks like black granite. And then they have the wood tone ones. And they have, um, I think, a couple different wood tone ones. I was looking, I was hoping to find one in red, but of course I couldn't find red. And I couldn't find a solid black color. So you guys, if you see a red one of these or a solid black, but this. For the money, this is amazing. It's nice and heavy and sturdy, nice and deep. Let's see if we can show you how deep it is. So it goes, all right, so it's about that deep. It's pretty good. I like it. It doesn't have anything on the bottom to keep it from slipping. Um, I will cut a little bit of cork on the bottom simply because I like it to grip my countertop a little bit better. But mortar and pestle, what can you say, right? It's pretty good. I was very surprised when I opened it and I saw how big it was. I was expecting one of them little mini things for the money because this was only a couple of bucks. Okay, we got more. Don't worry. Now, Timu, when I opened the bag, I'm like, what is this? I didn't order this. This was tucked into the side of the bag. Can you see what it says? Shop like a billionaire? I said, I didn't order these. What they send me? Nope. These are small little canvas tote bags. And these are good canvas. I don't know if you can tell, get close enough to tell, but it's really good canvas material. But they are obviously Timu advertising. And on the back it says reusable, recyclable, eco friendly Timu. And it even puts barcode down here. So if you're out shopping someplace, they can, somebody can scan it and join Timu. Seriously. This screams of desperation to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't think of it any other way. It's like they are really trying to get their name out there. But these are small. These are barely. This is like an 8 by 11. It does have canvas straps. Carrying this anywhere, it's too small to do any good. Now, if it was a full size tote, I'd carry it, but knowing me, I'd probably put an iron on over the Timu label. So, anyway, they didn't just send one, they sent two. Now, if you have any use for these little canvas totes, let me know. I'll be happy to pop one in the mail to you. Um, other than that, I have no clue what I'm going to do with them. I might put one in my giveaway box just so somebody has one. You can pass it on. I cannot think of anything small enough that I could use it for. So I'm open to suggestions. If you can think of anything that's that small that I can carry in there, let me know. Because I am at a loss. I have no clue. 
it's it's for me it's just too small to do any good. Mm. Coffee. Yes, and it's a Timu tumbler, but it's a metal one. Isn't that cool? Okay. How are we all doing today? Today is the 10th of January. Yes, things are looking up in this household. As you can tell, I'm a lot less stressed. I'm getting back to me. Um, I have been resting, taking care of myself and taking care of my babies in the process. So everybody in the household is happy and things are going well. All right, let's, what is in here? Oh, yes, 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 yes. All right, hold on. The things, the next things you're going to see are all, they're all kitchen. I love donuts, but I don't like fried foods. Fried foods don't agree with my system. And most donuts are fried, unless you go to VD or, you know, something like that, where they're cooked slowly in the oven. So I figured, all right, I'm going to start making my own donuts. Um, that way I can put on them what I want or make them plain. So I got myself a silicone, if I can get it out. There we go. Donut tray. Make six full-size donuts, not jumbo ones, but full-size. <laughs> That's the bottom. Inside of it, it is, um, I like that it has the extra grips on the end because the ends are really solid. I don't know about you, but when I use a silicone baking anything, I have to put a metal tray underneath it to support it because when you take them out of the oven, they're all hot and floppy. It's easier if I just put them on a tray. That's just me. These wash out great. Whenever your food pops out of it, all you have to do is push it from behind, and your food pops right out of it. You push it from behind to clean it. They can go in the dishwasher. Nothing bothers these. Um, and you'll see in the pictures that I put up of Mom making the brownies that we used a silicone uh, square cake pan to make the brownies in. So I absolutely love this. I'm looking forward to being able to make donuts. They did have the ones for mini donuts, but to me, I grew up eating donut holes before they were publicly invented. My grandmother used to make homemade donuts, and she would give my older brother and I the centers that she would cut out. She'd use like a little shot glass and cut the centers of the donuts out, and then cook those separately and give those to us as a treat, and then the adults got full-size donuts. So they don't, I didn't find the mold for making the donut holes. But because these have the protrusions that create the donut holes, I won't have any donut holes to eat. But that's okay, because I'd probably eat way too many if I did. At least this way, if they're bigger, they're easier to keep, they're easier to freeze. Yeah. Right? Okay. I just like donuts. I like making homemade pretzels. That's pretty easy to make in the oven. See, now I'm going to want to have to go do some baking today. Do you have any good recipes for? You don't know, pizza dough, uh, pretzel dough, anything like that, share it. Put a comment down below. How do you make, you know, how, do you make donuts? How do you make your donuts? Because I'm going to show you what else that I got that goes along with making the donuts. It's a donut dispenser <laughs> or a dough dispenser, whatever you want to call it. I'm glad you guys can't hear the crinkles. That was bad. All right, so this is a two-parter. This is your tub that holds your, your batter, so to speak, and this is the compressor that pushes it down. So when you set this inside of here, there are two little hooks on either side that these lock into. Hold on, see if I can get it in there. There we go. All right, so you're pulling up on these two things, so they're hooked into the sides right there on either side. You're pulling up on this, and you're pressing down with this. So what it does is it extrudes, and that's what this is. It's an extruder. It pushes blob of dough out in perfect proportion. So one push down is one donut. One push down is one donut. As the batter goes down, because there's the cone inside, when it pushes down, can you see the cone push through right there? It makes your hold. 
right? Now, the other good thing I discovered this can be used for is pancake batter. But you have to do it a little bit different with pancake batter because pancake batter is thinner. So with pancake batter, you have to close it before you put your batter in so that you seal up the hole and then release it to let the batter out. So it's just the opposite as when you're making donuts. When you're making donuts, right? So I thought that was pretty cool. It will still work if I want to squeeze it. In other words, if I want to squeeze it over this, all I have to do is put the hole over the top of this and let it come down around the center point. If I don't want to use this, if I want to make more, then I just put this on a lightly greased um, cookie sheet. But yeah, this will this will work for dispensing any kind of thicker dough that you have or thicker batter that you have. And for a couple of bucks, yeah, worth it, right? I make a mess using a ladle. I have all different size ladles. I have one ladle that's the perfect size. When I fill it, it makes the perfect size pancake. And I use the bottom of the ladle to spread it around. I have another one that makes the perfect size for filling muffin uh, cups. So that it'll fill the muffin cups two-thirds full and they won't overflow. So I have different size labels for different things. The proper tools make the job easier, right? Okay. And the last thing in this order, and I know this is a short video, but I had to do it. I had to get one out there. You guys are looking for home essentials. Uh, Timu is working on making things easier for those of us in the influencer program so that they can provide more seed money for us. In other words, if you're new and you have not yet joined Timu, when you click on my link below and you join Timu, even if you don't shop that day, when you download the app, boom, they're going to give me $5 credit on account so I can shop. So the more people that join through my link, the more products I can bring you. So if you download the app, let's say you have it on your phone right now, but you download it to maybe a tablet or something like that. If it's on a different device, sometimes Timu will also award us with that $5 because they see you as a new person. Anyway, I shop with what they give me <laughs> and I try to get them all, all this stuff here. All of this was like just barely over $30, like $30.12 or something like that. So that's an awful lot of stuff for 30 bucks. And this. Can you see the design on this? This, I'm not talking about the design out here, but, well, you'll see it. This is a bunt pan, a silicone bunt pan, but it's got a little bit of a different design. It's got a spiral design to it. On the inside, when you pour your batter in all the way up to the top, you will get exactly what you see out here. You'll get these layers like this, and then you'll get this twist to it. Now, bunt pans are not just for bunt cakes. These are great for bread. You want to make a festive loaf of bread or a tear apart loaf of bread? This is the easy way to do it. Because it will have these little ridges where you can either cut a piece or tear a piece away. And it makes a lot more servings. This is a big one. This is, I think they call this eight inches or eight and a half inches. This is the bigger one, but they do have smaller ones. Flexible, foldable, doesn't matter. You can't hurt it. It's going to resume its shape. Again, I put this on a tray when I bake it. Easy to clean up, microwave safe, dishwasher safe. And yes, there are recipes for baking cakes in the microwave. Did you know that? I've done it. It's really cool. And depending on the air fryer you have, you can also bake in your air fryer. Mm -hmm. I don't use silicone in the air fryer, but I do use silicone in the microwave um, and in the regular oven. So far, I haven't gone above 400 degrees, and I don't think I'd want to. Um, but yeah. They work great. They wash great. Not just for cakes, right? Any kind of batter you want to put in here. Um, 
And what I like is that they store easy. I can fold this up, roll it up, put a rubber band around it to keep it like that, and stick it in a very small spot. You can't do that with the old-fashioned metal tins. That's another reason why I get a lot of the silicone. Clean up, cooking, they pop out easy, they don't stick. Levi's getting obnoxious over here. He's wanting to come in and say hello. Levi, did you want to come over here and say hello? Come here. Come here. No? You're mad at me now? Come here. Come here, little boy. Put your hands on face. Oh, kisses for mommy. Oh, thank you. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Go lay down before you go to the computer over. Ah, no. Not my coffee. That's why they call them bully breeds because they're like a bowl in a china shut. Go lay down with your sissy. Mommy's almost done. Thank you. Nope. Go lay down. Go lay down. He's giving me this paw and I want attention. Anyway, short and sweet. Gotta love it. Take a look at this though before you go. Look at these pictures. Mom wanted to make the brownies herself. So, we got out all my Timu stuff. The measuring spoon. First, she cracked the egg into the into the bowl, which the stainless steel bowl is also a Timu product because I got a set of them from Timu. So I'll add the links down below. Then she took the measuring one measuring spoon to do the oil. That's the Timu measuring spoon. It's a set. And then she took another measuring cup um, to do the water. Those are Timu products. And if you look at the last picture, after pouring it into the pan, the red cake pan is also a silicone Timu cake pan. So that's my Timu kitchen at work. And that's Mama at work in my Timu kitchen, uh, which I absolutely love. That that's, you know, yeah. She had fun. We had fun. The brownies came out great. And I did cut them into 16 little bites so that each of us had two bites and the other 12 she took back to her um, community group home where she lives and she shared them with everybody. She was so proud. She was so, and it just, you know, did my heart good to see her so happy and so able to do things. She did it all. She mixed it the whole bit. I was surprised she cracked the egg and did not get a single shell in the bowl. <laughs> That's, I go too fast sometimes and I do get shells. That's why I always tell her, crack the egg first so that you can dig the shells out. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Stay comfortable where you are. It's a little chilly down here. We're only in the 40s. And for the Valley in Arizona, that's cold. Stay hydrated no matter what it is. Above all else, please stay sweet. And I'll catch you again as soon as Timo sends me another order.